So today is December 31st, 2020, New Year's Eve, and I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. Actually, 37 and 1, 2, 3, 4 days. And the last few weeks, I have really been struggling with dehydration. In fact, in a few hours, I'm going to be going to the hospital and getting some more fluids. So, you never know when this baby is going to be here. Could be any day now. We're definitely on baby watch. And I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube of what people pack in their hospital bags. And I knew that that would be a video that I would want to be able to look back on and see what we ended up taking to the hospital with us. So, it's her very first baby. I should probably call this what I overpacked to the hospital. But I've been there a couple times and the nurses are super sweet and they're like, bring anything you want, we'll figure it out. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So I'll start with the baby's bag. And this is the uh, Fawn Design Diaper Bag. And I do have it packed full, even though I didn't feel like I really packed a lot of stuff for her. But I'll show you what I brought. Or I'll show my future self what I what I brought to the hospital for baby girl. So the very first thing that I have on top, this was one of the last things I ordered. And it's just like a little fleece swaddle and I thought maybe I could put that over her in her car seat for the car ride home in case it was really cold or um, just wrap it around her. It could be like another blanket. So that was the last thing I purchased sort of like an afterthought but I thought it would be good to take to the hospital. And then I have in her little um, pacifier holder that Gigi got her a sanitized pacifier and pacifier clip. Oh, two sanitized pacifiers. I've got the blush colored bibs and the Subi. I've heard and read good things about both of those, so I thought we might give both a try. Better have too many options than not enough, <laughs> says a first time mom. And then I also packed a little jar of coconut oil because I have heard that um, it's just really good for their skin and their bottoms. And of course I'm trying to go all natural so I don't know. I just thought that might come in handy. You never know. And then these water wipes which is like 99% water and I think like a drop of fruit e extract. So who knows. And then I also packed her muslin towel, a towel and washcloth from home, just because the muslin's really soft. And I know we're gonna delay the bath for 24 hours, but I wanted her to have um, just a really soft bath towel for her first bath and a washcloth. So I'm bringing those from home. Plus everything's been washed in her like hypoallergenic baby stuff. And then here's a little wet dry bag that my sister also got us. And I put all of her outfits in here. So in the front, I have her little Eloise Lynn sign so that we can take a picture of her in the hospital. And the outfits that I'm bringing her. This is a little um, kimono outfit that matches Joe's shirt that says dad and my labor and delivery gown and robe. You'll see I have lots of matching stuff for us. And then, I just thought this was the cutest. Our friend Shannon got us this. It's a little cap that says Eloise and a little newborn uh, onesie that has her initials on it and it's just so precious. So it's going to be so cute for pictures. And then my mom bought her going home outfit. We wanted that to be uh, the thing that my mom picked out for her. So her grand got her this really sweet little going home outfit. So it's a gown and a cap and a blanket and it's just so soft and my mom loved it because it's little roses and it's the uh, very very similar to what my sister and I went home in. So brought back fond memories for her. And then lastly, I just have two swaddles in here. So this is a pink swaddle that matches a robe that I got for myself. Just a really light blush pink. And then we have a swaddle here that just has her name. It says Eloise. So we can either swaddle her in that or use it as a backdrop for some pictures. So I don't feel like I went totally overboard 
on her bag, but it is packed full, so maybe I did. And I just rolled everything up. I do. I did pack her a little um, onesie, like a footed onesie, to go underneath her going home outfit because, I mean, she's due in January, so regardless, it's going to be cold. So I want to make sure that she's warm when we bring her home. And that's all I have in her bag. Um, I think everything else the hospital will have. And I really hope that I'm able to breastfeed. And I did pack some other stuff in my bag to hopefully make it easier to breastfeed. Um, but as far as diapers and all that kind of stuff, I think the hospital will have it. And I know the hospital will have wipes, but I'm just trying to be as... I think because during my pregnancy, I got pups, which is like this horrible rash that you break out with. It's kind of rare, like a one in 160 pregnancies. So now I'm super conscientious of like rashes and skin stuff. So I tried to think of anything that I could possibly do to just be as natural on her skin and put the least amount of stuff on her skin that we possibly could. And that way, if she does break out with something, I'll know, you know, if it's the laundry detergent or the cream or the wipe or the diaper kind of process of elimination. So there's her bag. And then next we've got my bag. So this is the Fawn Weekender. And when I saw this bag, I just fell in love with it because I love things that match and it's a whole set. So you can get like the Weekender, the matching diaper bag, the, what is it? Like the large cosmetic bag, the small cosmetic bag. There's even like an insert that goes in the diaper bag that's um, got a white, like a wipes holder in it and a, and a changing mat. So I'm always a sucker for things that match best way to sell me so I tried to be mindful of the way that I packed my bag and I tried to put the things that I think I'm going to use first on top and then the things that I'm going to use last on the bottom so the very first thing on top is my labor and delivery gown and robe that matches Joe's shirt that says dad and her little kimono <laughs> um I was not going to order this. I thought, well, that's a waste of money and it's kind of excessive. But the more I talk to people, the more I realize that, especially if you go in for an induction, you can be there for a very, very long time. So I wanted to be as comfortable as I possibly could. If I'm laboring for hours and hours and possibly days, I want to be as comfortable as I can. And because I went to the hospital ahead of time to get fluids, it gave me a really good experience of what to expect. So I knew when I came home that I wanted things that were warm, things that were comfortable, things that fit my body, um, especially because your hospital gown's kind of open in the back and they're moving it around. So if it can be just big and soft and smell like home, I just think it will make my stay there maybe a little bit more comfortable, maybe not. And then the next thing I packed was um, my robe. This is the Caden Lane uh, robe that matches her swaddle for pictures. And of course, it's a really light blush pink, so I'm sure it's just for pictures. Um, and then for the more realistic part, I packed a couple different black pajamas. So I didn't know how I'd feel, so I tried to give myself a couple options. So I packed myself... Um, just like a black flowy gown, like a nightgown that buttons all the way at the front for breastfeeding. And I packed myself this black and white, it's kind of like a robe, but it's just cotton and it zips in the front to go over that just to give myself an option. And then I also packed myself this set of um, just regular like black pajamas. So the top buttons for breastfeeding and the bottoms are just, you know, some kind of loose black pants because I wasn't sure like after labor and delivery or if I end up having a c-section if I would want something more loose and flowy or if I would really want to be wearing some pants I wasn't sure so I just packed both and then 
this might be a little excessive. I packed these pink house shoes that are so cute and so comfy to wear when I first get there because they match my labor and delivery gown. And then I also packed these black ones that are also super soft and fuzzy to go with my black pajamas. Okay, I probably should have just done one pair of house shoes, but my one excessive thing. I would say that's my one excessive thing. Or, oh no, also packed sh shower shoes. Everyone says pack shower shoes, pack flip flops. You know, everybody in the world has been in that shower right after giving birth. I just think I want to have my feet protected. And then as far as underwear goes, I just packed three. I bought from Amazon this pack of like three really large like granny panties just in case I want I know that they give you mesh underwear and they say that that's probably what you'll wear home I also packed some adult diapers because people say that the mesh underwear is not really comfortable and moves around a lot but I figured that would give me a couple options because I'm not really sure how I'm going to feel or how much I'm going to bleed or how much um what I'm going to want to feel like underneath my clothes <laughs> I also packed myself a couple pairs of socks and with the grippies on the bottom and my sister got us these which I think are just so cute. It says baby, baby in progress and the other one says mama's resting. So I thought those were just the cutest labor and delivery socks. And I packed lots of socks and house shoes because when I was in the hospital last time getting fluid, it was so cold in there. And I'm sure when you're giving birth, you're super hot and it feels great. <laughs> but when you're just there like getting fluids or you're just kind of waiting around um, for something to happen, uh, it's really cold. And you know, my bladder is like the size of a pea right now. And she's, last time we went to for an ultrasound, she said, she's resting her head on your bladder. And I'm like, you're not telling me something I don't already know. So, I get up a lot to go to the bathroom. Not sure how that will work with labor and delivery. I think once you get an epidural, you have a catheter and you don't get up after that point. But I like something warm on my feet. So, that's why I brought so many house shoes. I'm bringing a portable fan. This is another thing that's probably a little bit excessive, but I heard someone recommend it on a video or an article or a blog or something. And I just thought, man, that might be very helpful if I'm really hot and I can put it on my bedside and maybe it would make me a little bit more comfortable. I'm also bringing a little manicure kit that I got on Amazon that matches my bag. Cause I like the matching stuff. And I'm bringing a breastfeeding bra and the Frida, Frida Baby Perineal Bottle. Everyone recommends these. Even though they give you one at the hospital, apparently this little like angled head is super user friendly. And I'm all about anything that will make me a little bit more comfortable, especially since this is my first. I don't know what to expect. Over planning helps ease my anxiety. And then the only other thing in my bag is just a going home outfit. So all I packed were some really loose, stretchy joggers um, in black. Because I figured after you give birth, the more black you can wear, probably the better. I've got a white nursing tank. And then just a sort of like a camel color cardigan that's really long and it'll, it'll cover my butt and my legs so hopefully this will be a super comfortable going home outfit even though we live really close to the hospital um when we get home i think i'll probably have a lot of family here and um it'll be nice to be able to sit and visit with them and and then i also packed some going home shoes that are just slip on that will make it easier on me can slip those suckers on and get out of there. I'm sure that's exactly what you feel like doing. So our Gigi also got us these little bags. I have one that says, ouch, that I'm putting all of my medicine in to take to the hospital. And this one says, mama. 
And I have all my mama stuff in here. So I have my sanitized Hawka and some nipple shields just in case she has a tongue tie or we're struggling with breastfeeding. Um, I'm not sure this will be an issue within the first 24 or 48 hours, but you never know. It might come in handy. And then just some nipple pads, some washable nipple pads. And I have some of the lanolin nipple cream. And uh, someone recommended this on a, on a blog or a video. And I'll have to ask my doctor about it because I'm not really sure. But it's called After Ease for Pregnancy. And apparently it's supposed to help with the postpartum, um, like your uterus contractions. Which apparently can be pretty painful for some people. So, like I said, better over prepared. So again, I'm just going to try to pack this bag in in the way that I think I'm going to be using it and getting it out. I'll have to do a video when I come back like of all the things I didn't use. <laughs> Just as a reminder to myself. Maybe if there's a next time. Pack this. Don't pack that. I think it will be so fun for her though. You know, we tried for six years to get pregnant and we didn't have any luck and then all of a sudden you know, this year, 2020, as crazy as it's been, we end up pregnant um, for this baby that we've hoped for and thought about for so long. And we've lived so much life. Joe and I have been together for 11 years. So we've lived so much life together. I said it's going to be so weird to have a baby living with us in our house. It's the craziest thing. But it's going to be so much fun. It's something we've waited for and hoped for for a really long time. So try to make some videos for her to be able to look back on them and see what life was like beforehand and what her mama was thinking about right before she got here <laughs> and all the things that I packed in the hospital bag getting ready for her and preparing for her. It'll be fun too when she's having her own baby and she's looking back at these videos and she's packing her hospital bay. She can see how things have changed over the years. It'll be funny because I'm thinking about the things that my mom probably packed in the 80s. <laughs> I bet her hospital bag looked very different. Now we're into all the matching mama and baby and dad stuff. Eloise, you'll probably get a kick out of that sometime in the future. Okay, I got it to zip, so I think that's a good sign. Okay. Now, the last thing on this side <laughs> is a snack bag. So, throughout this pregnancy, I've had gestational diabetes. And I have, I've lost weight since I've been pregnant. I've had to watch what I eat and drink so closely and taste my blood sugar. And um, so I've not got to have anything like sweet or junk food since I've been pregnant, basically. So <laughs> here's our treat bag for the hospital that Joe and I, Joe has also been eating healthy, I should say. The whole time that I've been eating healthy, he's been eating healthy right along with me. So when we were doing our Walmart grocery pickup order, and we were putting stuff in there for our snack bag. We just went crazy with like sweets and candy and snacks. So this bag is full of lots of unhealthy things like oatmeal cream pies. I think these are called like nutter, nutty, nutter, nutty butter bars or something. These are Joe's things. But I'm not gonna lie. I've wanted a Kit Kat for so long. <laughs> And then we have some chips and stuff in here. The Pop-Tart might also be mine. This is a bag of junk food. 
So, but there's also some healthy snacks. So I do have some white patient cookies. And I do have like some beef and cheddar sticks and some chocolate covered almonds, which are not so bad. And I even packed some um, like hydrating drinks. These are supposed to be really good. These V8 uh, hydrate drinks to help with breastfeeding to keep you hydrated. So we're going to add a few more things in here, like probably, probably some Lunchables because when you're pregnant, you can't have sandwich meat. It has been so long since I've had a piece of ham or turkey. Um, so yeah, we're packing a junk food bag of all the things that we've not been able to eat for the last six months. And then on this side, I have a, here's the labor and delivery nurse gifts or the OB nurse gifts that I showed you in a video before. So we're gonna be taking these with us and just setting them on the counter so that the nurses, as they come back and grab one. I'm also going to get some gift cards, like some Starbucks gift cards and just some thank you cards. Not that I'll be in any place to write out thank you cards while I'm in the hospital, but just in case I'm gonna uh, tuck some into my bag. And um, for the nurses that I just, that I work really close with or that are just really great to me and Joe or the baby, um, I'm gonna give them gift cards before I leave because I know that they work really hard and um, work really long hours and I think it'll just be nice. So all the nurses we work with will get a gift bag and then the ones that um, just take really good care of us or that we work really closely with will give some gift cards too. And then I also have a gift here for our um, doctor. So she just happens to be my very good friend, um, Dr. Birch, Dr. Morgan Birch. She's, she's my best friend and she's delivering the baby. We're gonna call her Aunt B. And um, so I wanted to do something that would just be a little bit special just for her. So we got her this frame that she can put in her office. And you know, when you're a doctor, not a lot of people probably get pictures of you and give you pictures of yourself doing your job. So I thought it would be really cool to get a picture of her holding the baby um, because it's her in her element, you know, at work doing her job. But then it's also, you know, a very special baby to her because she's a very special person to us. She's, she's our Aunt B. Um, so she's she's my great friend and, and she's going to be close to the baby and it's so great that she gets to be there and gets to deliver the baby especially during COVID when Joe's the only person that's allowed to go in there with me so having Dr. Birch there will just be like having another support person so uh, we want to do something special for her so we got her this frame and at the top it says my aunt B and my mom came up with this idea she she had mentioned it in passing and I thought, you know, that, that's such a great idea. She said, you know, um, Dr. Birch will be the very first hands that will hold the baby. So that's what we got engraved at the bottom. It says the very first hands to hold me uh, because we felt like that was really special and especially the fact that it's gonna be her. So I hope that she'll like that. And I thought it will give her something to put in her office because it will be her doing her job but also a picture of her and her special girl. And then I have an electronics bag that we got from Amazon and it has been so perfect because there's two zip pockets. So in the bag, it fits our laptop. And I've heard a lot of people say that labor and delivery, like after you get your epidural, sometimes it's just like waiting a long time so you wanna have something to do. And then this front part holds everything. So it holds your charger, your mouse, all of our camera stuff is in here, our camera charger, our extra SIM cards. Um, my sister got us this, like to set the phone up in the hospital bed, or like on the table, the bedside table. Which is such a great idea. So that you can watch like YouTube videos or something. And then um, all of our phone uh, chargers and all of our different device chargers. And everyone recommended having an extra long phone charger. So my sister got, me and Joe, we both have an extra long phone charger and phone cord. So it is an extra bag with a lot of stuff in it, but 
in the grand scheme of things, I feel like this doesn't take up a whole lot of space, like for it to be all of your electronics. And then this is Joe's bag. It actually has his name on it. And he he has um, just packed it full of like comfy clothes and some shoes and his toiletries bag. And it looks like he has his um, ear pods. That has to have a nice bag too. And then the last thing we have is in our cart. My sister so kindly allowed us to use this cart because we thought it would maybe make it easier to carry all of this stuff in, to roll it in, put it in the cart and roll it in versus carrying it in. So we joke that like we're gonna be that couple at the hospital like with a rolling cart and we're gonna be known for the cart probably and all the stuff we brought in. So in here I have a bag of black towels for me and Joe so that after we shower we can we can use our own towels because I've just heard that the hospital towels are really small and they're kind of scratchy. And this, I washed all of our stuff in the baby's detergent. So when we're doing skin to skin or she's right next to us, she won't be exposed to any kind of like chemicals. So here's three towels for us in black. Plus I ordered these three black towels because I thought even after we come home, like I'll still be bleeding for a while. All of our towels are solid white. I probably don't want to use those for a while. So I think these black towels will really come in handy. And then afterwards, they were cheap. I mean, we can throw them away. And then I have two additional bags, and that's just blankets. One for me and one for Joe. And we'll be taking the pillows off of our bed so that we both have pillows and blankets from home. And the only final thing that I'm going to take is I have um, a bag that a colleague sent me as part of a, a, a baby gift. And it's so cute. It's just a canvas bag. It has a dog and a little heart on it because um, she knows that our fur babies are also part of the family. Um, and I'm just going to throw some toiletries in that, kind of some last minute things that I'm still using, like my toothbrush and toothpaste and my blow dryer so that I can wash and dry my hair because I've heard that nothing feels better after a delivery than a shower and I can imagine that that's true. So this is it. This is what we're taking to the hospital and I'm very nervous about it. We're getting ready to go get some fluids at the hospital right now and I'm praying that they don't induce us and um, we're a little bit worried about the amniotic fluid. We're hoping that we can keep it up and buy us a couple weeks but very soon we will be meeting our baby girl our very first ever 37 weeks we did it see you soon